Hey, it's Joe Glines from the Automator, and a lot of you noticed when we're sharing our scripts now, we're not sharing the executables, we're just sharing the auto hockey code. Um, and it's really because antivirus software, we're flagging the auto hockey compiled script as uh, viruses, even though they're not viruses, but, uh, you know, it's such a big battle, we just decided not to fight it, and um, we're only releasing the auto hockey scripts. Now, if you're new to auto hockey, you know, you want to know how do you compile it. It's very, very easy. It's, it's actually easier than any other programming language I think is out there. So uh, first go to autohockey.com. You can see this above my head here. And once you do, you're going to go to the page and um, show you there'll be a, a download. So click this. Now you can choose different versions. We recommend the download current version. Um, no, don't use these other ones. So you'll download that somewhere. I'm going to download it here and then go through install it. I'll go ahead and um, walk through it here. So this is the newest uh, up to date version of this uh, compiler. So it's going to launch. Um, now I'm going to do a custom yours. If you've never done this, it'll, it'll, it's not going to say custom, but you want to say, don't, don't select the default. What we recommend is using the Unicode 32 bit. So that's the first option here. These other ones are um, the Unicode 64 probably works fine, but sometimes some of the stuff you're using, the libraries are only 32 bit and it just causes some issues. The ANSI Unicode 30, uh, 32 bit, the ANSI one, if you have uh, like uh, emojis and other characters like the NEA and stuff or the languages, those don't come through. So the Unicode 32 bit is a nice solid solution. So we're gonna click this. Now you would uh, install it wherever you want. Mine happens to be in a different location, but don't worry about that, hit next. Um, and now we definitely want the install script compiler. That's what we're going to use in this video. Um, the rest of stuff you can just leave as defaults um, and install. Now I have scripts running, so it's going to have a problem with it, but um, it's fine. So you're just going to install and then we're going to go to the next steps. Okay, so now we've installed auto hotkey. Um, go to any auto hotkey script that you're trying to compile. Um, so here we can see that they ended in a .hk. So we're going to select it. And now here's the really, really cool part. This is crazy compared to most languages. We're going to right click and say compile script. And that's it. Like it's going to right click and it's going to create an executable in this same folder right here. It went and grabbed all the stuff that needed, packed it all. It basically takes the auto hockey executable, looks at the script you're doing and kind of merges them together and makes it to where now you can double click it and you can run this. And now you have a compiled script. So it's that easy, right? If you have auto hockey installed, you don't actually have to compile it. You could just double click this and it's going to run. But if you wanted to share this on a different computer that doesn't have auto hockey installed, then you'd want to um, compile it and then share that with other people or however you want. Uh, it just gets it around for us. We don't have to worry about the virus protection, but I hope that helps. Cheers.